How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a Kmart Big W homewares haul for you guys. So if you haven't already checked out my last video, make sure you do so. I will link it up here as well as in the description. Um, basically, I moved houses on the weekend, so I was staying with one of my mum's friends in their spare bedroom and now I'm living in one of my friend's spare bedrooms and I have a bit more room in this bedroom than I did in my last one so I get to like decorate this room a bit more, um, kind of make it more so my space. So I went to Kmart and Big W just to pick up some little bits of furniture um, and just like homewares a little bit of decor but not really that much decor I'm still trying to find decor that I like um and that kind of thing so in today's video I'm going to show you guys everything I got but yeah in my last video I actually took you guys around Kmart and Big W with me so if you would be interested in seeing that make sure you go check that out anyway without further ado let's jump into it so I have a few things just sitting in a pile here a lot of the things are actually already set up like it's some furniture and like some storage stuff that's already being used as storage so I can't just like pick it up and like show you guys so this is going to be a little bit different I'll show you guys all of those things and then I'll make this into like a bit more of a vlog style thing like I'll bring you around the house and show you some of these things kind of in action I suppose um, so I think I'll start out with Kmart just because Kmart's the best thing in the world and Kmart's my favourite out of all these places. So the very first thing I picked up from Kmart is this 8 pack of hangers. I already have a bunch of these, I just wanted to get more just so I have some spares in case I buy more clothes. I swear by these hangers, I've used them for a few years now. They are so thin, I don't know if you guys can tell, so you can like stack so many of them in your um, wardrobe. Like I used to be that person that had like a bunch of random different coloured and styled like coat hangers and then I decided to switch to these and I just hit myself in the face. Um, and I honestly do not regret it one bit. They're also like made out of velvet. So they're non-slip, so your stuff stays on there as opposed to like plastic or metal where, you know, your shirts and dresses and stuff are constantly falling off. So yeah, I got a packet of these. Eight packet, as I said, was $3.50. Yeah, I love these hangers so much. Next thing I got is not overly exciting, but I saw it was literally $2.75 and I was like, you can never have too many towels. Um, so it's just a nice little plain white towel, I suppose. Um, look, it's probably not the best quality ever considering it's from Kmart and it's $2.75. But I'm not that fussy with my towels. You know, if it dries me, then I'm satisfied. So I picked up a towel. Next thing I picked up is not overly interesting either. It's just some fitted white sheets. Just because I have gotten a new Duna cover recently, it's just a white one and I just wanted to grab some nice white sheets that would go with my white Duna cover because I want to like keep my bed really plain and white and then like depending on the season or how I'm feeling, I can mix it up with different coloured like throw blankets and cushion etc and then yeah just like as I said keep the Duna cover and the sheets just like plain white because plain white goes with pretty much everything. So I picked up a packet of sheets. Oh my god, this is not... Oh, I meant to pick up like a fitted sheet, a top sheet and like pillow cover set. I literally only just realised I only picked up the fitted sheet. I don't know how I managed to do that. Um, anyway, these sheets were $20. So I spent $20 on the wrong thing. Next thing I picked up is just some fragrance free facial wipes, so makeup wipes. I actually don't use makeup wipes to take off my makeup, I use a face halo to do that. But I like to just have these because they're really handy to have and you know like sometimes like you'll have like a shower the night before or in the morning and then you like go out and do some stuff and you need to freshen up but you don't have time to have a shower. You can just grab one of these out, give your pits a quick wipe, put on some deodorant and then you're fresh as ever so I just love to have these just around the place just in case for things like that because they're really handy and they were $1.75 for 30 wipes. Next thing I picked up is a packet of three like um, 
hook things, no nails, ones, you know, like, use these in um, 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 rentals, like when you can't put holes in the wall. This house isn't a rental. My friend Georgie owns it, but I just don't want to put any holes in the wall, obviously, because it's her house. Um, so I just picked up these to, like, hang up if I get any, like, pictures, um, and to hang up that thing back there, which I'll show you guys soon. Um, so yeah, this was a three pack for $4.50. So that's very handy. Um, so I'll show you guys in a second after I'm finished showing you guys these things. But I picked up a desk. Um, so I picked up a few just like little stationary desk items to go on my desk. Um, so this is like a bit random and stationery isn't really like homewares in a sense, but, um, it's been a while since I've had a desk, so I just wanted to get some desk items, you know? So I picked up a pair of scissors, great fun, these were $2, so far so good, they seem to do the job nicely. Anyone else think it's ironic that you need scissors to, um, open the packet that the scissors are in? Like, what if you're buying scissors because you don't have any scissors? I just think that's a bit stupid but anyway like I know it's probably for like safety reasons so you can't just like walk in there and just like quickly open up the packet and grab out a pair of scissors but still um I picked up some sticky notes I picked up these white ones instead of like your typical yellow ones just because they have lines on them and I just love that I just love writing on things and I'm the kind of person that like if I'm writing on something which doesn't have lines on it, my writing seems to go like that, and like diagonal. So I picked up some sticky notes, and they were $1.50. Second last thing for my desk I picked up is this little pen holder. So it's just in grey, because I'm planning on making grey my like accent colour in this room. Um, so I picked this up. This one was $4. And then the last thing for my desk I picked up is just a stapler to staple things with. That's pretty straightforward. This stapler was $3. So that's all of those things that I picked up. So now just give me a second and I will pick you guys up and show you some more slightly interesting things. All right, so we're now vlog style. So this is the desk I picked up from Kmart that I was telling you guys about. This was $39, it's just a plain, white desk um it'd be good if that bit there was a drawer but it's not that's just to like stabilize it or whatever so plain white desk i've actually had this desk before when i lived with my mum before she moved away um and it worked really well and it's pretty cheap so very good and then to go along with the desk i picked up this dining chair i picked up a dining chair just because like if I got like an actual desk chair with wheels, there wouldn't be much point because I feel like they wouldn't work very well on the carpet anyway. Plus I don't really need to like swivel around or anything. And I saw this one and I really liked it. Uh, so I picked up this dining chair and this was also $39. And if I do say so myself, it seems to look really nice there and goes with everything else. So good enough for me and yeah that's there's the like pen holder and stapler and stuff that I showed you guys just before that I picked up as well as my little plant that Georgie got me as a moving in present and then next up if we move to under the desk down here we just have a nice little clear slash white plain old bin this was four dollars I believe and it works really well it's actually a quite decent size alrighty moving from the desk over onto this other side of the room we have my lovely wardrobe here and hung up on the wardrobe here we have this little whiteboard I think it's called like a combo board or something so it has like the whiteboard and then the like cork board I think it's called so this one was ten dollars and I just wanted to put this up here to just organize my life a bit better because I'm the kind of person that loves organizing my life um i'm just a huge organizer so at the top here i've just written all of the days and i'm just going to write on each day you know particular things that i have to remember to do on those days um anything coming up that i need to remember like rego down here i write down all of my shifts just so i don't forget and then i'm just gonna like pin any like important letters or any like forms i need to fill out and not forget about I will pin them there and 
like I wake up and this is like the first thing I see so I'm not likely to forget things if I write them up here and pin them there. All right, now moving on to these little cube bookshelves that I have over here. I just picked up this little diffuser from Kmart. This was literally like $2. It's called, like, it's like the vanilla bean scent. It, like, oh, it smells unreal. I can't even explain. It kind of smells a little bit chocolatey, like, not like actual chocolate, but like, you know, when you buy chocolate flavored, like, candles and stuff, it kind of smells like that. So that was $2. And then moving on up, I bought this. It's literally just a soup bowl. This one's actually from Big W. I wanted to buy like a little trinket dish for here, um, but I couldn't find anything at all I loved. So I literally just ended up buying a soup bowl and this bowl was literally like $2. So I just wanted to have this here to put just like knickknacks on. So I've got like my keys in there. So I, like just like when I come home, I can just chuck them in there and I don't lose them or anything. I've got a pair of sunnies. I've got a few hair ties, um, an Allen key, cause you know, that's really helpful when it comes to building furniture. And a lighter. No, I do not smoke. I use them for candles. Um, so I've just got that there sitting on this marble placemat that I picked up from Kmart in my first ever YouTube video, which was like a Kmart haul and vlog. Pretty sure this was like two or three dollars. So I just think that looks really simple and cute, and it's just handy to chuck your shit in when you come in. So I do have a few more things from Kmart but they're pretty much all out in the kitchen so I will show you guys them shortly but while we are in my room I might as well just show you guys everything in here that I got. So I already showed you one thing from Big W but now moving on to the things I got from Big W. I didn't pick up as much from Big W um, just because I'm a Kmart girl till the day I die. Um, but I did pick up a few goodies. So the first thing I picked up is this little shoe rack I have down here. I'll flip you around. Give me two seconds. So here's the shoe rack. It's just got four um, shelves. It fits 12 pairs of shoes, it says. Um, and I think that's pretty accurate. I can fit more just because I have like a few pairs of like thongs and stuff, which I stack on top of each other. So I just have all of my shoes stored in there. The only thing is heels are a bit awkward to store on this like I've had to like shove the heel down one of those gaps and they, they keep getting stuck because like I can't because it's got gaps I can't like sit them upright um but yeah this shoe rack was $12 I actually picked it up because I thought it was white it looked white in the box and then I pulled it out and it was grey but it's all right. Oh my god, and that just came undone. All right, got to fix that. Also, PSA, this thing is incredibly hard to put together. It took me and Jamie probably like 10 minutes to put together because all of these, like, probably more than 10 minutes, because all of these, like, fly all, all around the place and you have to, like, stick them from one side into the other. It was not a fun time, but worth it, in my opinion, once we finally got that together. Next thing I picked up is just in here. I picked up these three little drawer things, so they're called a plastic single drawer. These were $8 each. I wanted to get, like, bins to store my undies, socks, and bras in, but the only like bins I found that would work were broken and they were the last left in the store so I ended up going for these honestly it works really well I'm glad I did end up going for this I do need to get one more just for my bikinis because my bikinis are shoved in the same drawer as my bras at the moment and that drawer is like chocobla so yeah i have these three bins if you guys have a wardrobe that doesn't have any drawers in it and you need to store your undergarments i highly 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 recommend these things they're quite cheap and they work really really well all right last thing in my room before we move out to the kitchen is not overly exciting it's just this six um outlet power board i have down here i did have a four one but found that wasn't enough so i decided to pick up a six power outlet and it is great all right now we are in the kitchen please excuse the fact that it's a little bit of a mess in here i'm still in the process of getting things to organize all of this so it's kind of just a little bit chucked in there at the moment but this is my little section of the kitchen um, my pantry to put all of my food in um, so 
up the back here, as you can see, I got this little pantry shelf thing. These things are really handy if you have like any small pantry or anything. Um, because it just adds like a whole another layer where you can put stuff. So I picked this one up from Kmart and it was only $4 and it seems like fairly sturdy and it seems to do the job really well. And then down underneath here, I just have these four containers um, i can't remember what they were called they were called like flute jar or something not sure why but i just have five of these down here i just have like brown sugar stored in them and then i've stuck the barcodes on the back just in case um of like times i am tracking my calories uh just in case you know and i'm gonna get um stickers to put on the front here like labels um but they were all sold out so i am planning on getting that then I have chia seeds, um, cacao powder, that's almond meal, and then that's the shredded coconut back there. And then up above here, these little containers are actually from the reject shop. Um, so I have like my oats, pasta, desiccated coconut, and coconut flakes in them. I need to get a few more of these to store like my granola and stuff in. These were literally $2.00. And they're amazing. Once again, barcode on the back just in case of uh, calorie tracking purposes. Um, so I have those. Those are really good. They're a quite decent size for literally $2. Great to store food in. I've heard that storing your food in glass is a lot better than plastic for some reason. It just prolongs the life who knows why and then down on the bottom here i just have these two baskets these were literally three dollars each i've just got my like snack kind of food in them so in this one i've got all of like my sweet snacks i've got like chocolate um like protein bars oat bars um some sample proteins in there little um like ball things i can't think of what they're called and then in this one i have all of my savory snacks i've got like rice cakes these things that i tried out from my goodness me box and i'm obsessed with they're delicious um some popcorn because popcorn is just a really great easy healthy snack and then just some like chips that i got in my goodness me box and i believe that is all in there I want to get like a lazy Susan to put here to put all this stuff in but for now that is all I picked up um so yeah that's everything I picked up from Kmart big job and just so like a few things from the reject shop I know I didn't pick up like a huge amount of overly interesting things um, but I feel like any Kmart haul is a good haul so I just thought I would show you guys everything I picked up anyway because I thought you might appreciate it and enjoy as well Maybe, who knows. Uh, there are still a lot of other things I want to pick up from Kmart and Big W for my room, as well as like more decor items, cause I picked up a lot of like practical items in that trip. So I just still need to pick up like cushion, throw blanket. I wanna get like a big mirror for the corner of my room. I wanna get some more like plant kind of things. Um, but Kmart is sold out of a lot of things at the moment, so I just picked up what I could get my hands on. And I didn't want to wait until all those things were in stock before filming this haul. I also do have a part two of my moving house vlog coming up on my channel soon as well, by the way. So stay tuned for that. Part one is already up on my channel. That's my most recent upload. That was, yeah, just like moving in, going shopping. Part two is going to be more so setting up my room getting it all a little bit more decorated and stuff. I was planning on releasing that setting up my room vlog like instead of this video and then this video as the next video but there are still a few more things I've said as I want that I want to get to set up my room so I don't want to finish filming that video until I've got a few more things for my room just so it's more setting up my room if that makes any sense. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And I'll see you next time.